AWS works very closely with Alexa, and I know you said you don't you don't play favorites, but talk to us a little bit about the benefits that Alexa gets from AWS and vice versa, and yeah. how you see that in the future as voice scales. Yeah, I think the benefits Alexa gets from AWS is first of all their cost structure is is uh, very lean. They're mm -hmm. able to save a lot of money. They only spend what they need. They don't have to make big upfront investments. And then they're able to innovate at a much faster clip um, than they would if they were trying to do it themselves on premises. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most interesting, misunderstood, and underreported parts of Amazon over the last five to 10 years because people got interest in AWS is how fast our consumer business mm -hmm. has innovated. It's kind of breathtaking. Mm -hmm. And I think they would tell you a lot of that is because they get to use the same AWS building blocks that our millions of active customers use as well. I think that, um, uh, you all, what they also get is that they get to take their scarce resource, who are mm -hmm. software engineers, and instead of having them work on the undifferentiated heavy lifting of infrastructure services, which doesn't differentiate their, their business in any way, they, get, they can offload that to AWS and they get to work on what differentiates the Alexa platform and, and set of services. I think what AWS gets from Alexa, and I would say from Amazon in general, is that is a very demanding, very knowledgeable, um, very sophisticated set of customers inside of Amazon. And so almost all of our services, they're using a very large scale and they are, um, they're not shy about giving us feedback and telling <laughs> us what we need to pr improve. And for us, customer feedback drives everything we do. And so it's, it's incredibly useful customer to have.